Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome to a new pet showcase. We've got with me the Vampire Squirrel, which is the newest pet that was just added in the new bundle that came out unofficially a few days ago. So, uh, King's Out still hasn't like released anything about that bundle on the website or Twitter or anything, so we're still waiting for the official release, but uh, there's a chance that it's available at certain game stops. From my experience, they're usually like West Coast first and then uh, it kind of moves from there. But this is the Vampire Squirrel that is available in the new bundle, Darkmoor themed. So of course we have a vampire uh, little pet here, who really likes to do his animation. Like he's he's a, he's a big fan of hanging upside down. I mean he is a vampire and squirrel combined. So so he's like part bat, part squirrel. So you can see his tail there. Yeah, pretty cool. And uh, this is what he looks like when he flies. I remember seeing the the fly animation for the first time when I was doing the bundle video. It looks pretty funny. <laughs> so, we've got our squirrel friend slash vampire here. And I don't have any information about what talents it has yet. So, this will be a surprise for like what we get. Um, he is balanced. And he gives the balanced spear card. So, we know that. But, as for the talents, he has two epics. And then a few ultra rares. So, we're just going to have to see which talents that we get for him. So, I'm going to train up our Prince Piper baby pet here to adults and we'll see what talents it gets vampire square as they say as the count says was it down yes he does like the worm when he finishes Okay. He's the worm in the air. He flies. Oh man, five out of five on the vampire. Pretty good. I mean, is it really a dance move? He just kind of bows in every direction that he possibly can. It's like yes, allow me, allow me, yes, yes. Give me your applause. Thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, cherry tomato, blocker. Oh, so we got crit and block from this guy. Because the first one was a critical hitter, I think. Yep, critical hitter and blocker are two of the ultra rares. I'll be interested to see what the epics are on this guy. But I have no idea. If anyone knows, they can go ahead and leave a comment on that one. Because this is a... Fairly new pet, and I don't have all the talents for him yet. So at least we know these two. We got blocker and critical hitter. And I'm trying to guess what they could be. I mean, balance could just be anything. I mean, they could be wards for different schools or anything. Who knows? I don't know if there's any new talents. I haven't really heard about anything. So, but yeah, that is the vampire squirrel, which is from the new Witch Hunters bundle, which is the official title. I mean, it's a Darkmoor bundle. They're not going to call it Darkmoor bundle, though, because that's a little too obvious. Not creative. Witch Hunter, though, is it makes sense. So, let's head over to the Golem Tower and cast our thing. And then at the end of this video, if I remember, hopefully I do, I want to go to the Sarcophagus and see what we get in the Darkmoor Manor. Balanced Sphere. After we get hit by a blood bat. I mean, is it a dance move? Not really. But uh, I'll accept it. <laughs> Let's finish off this uh, golem. I mean, he just bows. When you actually do the dance game, he kind of just like flies up and does the worm in the air. So that's more of a dance move. His bow is like his celebratory dance, if you will. Okay, one gold for that one. Pretty good. But yeah, let's head over to the Darkmoor Manor to uh, finish things off. There he is. He's hiding. <laughs> Alright, let's head over there. And we'll check the sarcophagus, see what we get today. Uh, the last two times I've done it, all I got was paintings. So I want to know if there's anything better that you can get than just paintings. From this but we'll find out 
Pass the PvP. Atomic Fireball. Mmm. I thought it was like mostly housing items, but I guess you can get snacks too. I mean, rank 7 snack, it's not the worst thing ever, but... I was expecting a furniture item. This guy said that we would get... Wait, where'd he go? Wait, he disappears? <laughs> where did the guy go? I thought there was supposed to be a guy here. Does he Does he just disappear after you talk to him? Maybe he doesn't show up today. Maybe he... Maybe he uh, disappears and goes somewhere else in the house. I don't know. But yeah. So that's going to do it for... Oh, wait. He does. Wait, Elizabeth. Who is this? This was my father's manor, a monument to his greed and grandiosity. But he was a fearful man, never took any risks. I ran away and joined the knighthood as soon as I was old enough. All I ever asked of him was that he leave me the family's coat of arms. But even in death, he spurned me. All he bequeathed me was pet snacks, which I can't Oh, I get it. For. You can have them. Check his sarcophagus. Okay, I really like this addition. So depending on like the day, I'm guessing, you get different things from the sarcophagus. And then these ghost people that used to live here kind of tell you about that. So the days that Elizabeth is on the grounds haunting the Darkmoor Manor, you get pet snacks. The day that the other guy, I think Andrew maybe was his name, you get the uh, furniture items. So that's awesome. I wonder if there's more than just those two. There could be more. Who knows? But... That's going to do it for this pet showcase. Dark Man is just an awesome house overall. Like, I, I really like it. Plus, there's I just learned something else about the, the NPCs that are here. So, that's going to do it. Leave a big like for the new Vampire Squirrel pet. If you know any other towns, go ahead and leave them in the comments for people to find out about it. But, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.